Hello, it is week 18 of the Road to 100 interviews, and week 3, I believe, of showing you my croissant for the one person that enjoys this. <laughs> one thing that I really struggle with is, are these videos too silly? Because I feel like my articles are very professionally written and well-crafted, and then these videos are kind of just thrown together, even though I think I do a good job. In order to keep making videos every week, I have to make it fun, and so I finally come to terms with if the people are going to reply and do an article with me, then that's who's meant to reply, and if they don't, they don't. Kayla, I know you're watching. A lot of my videos aren't serious because... Me neither. <laughs> Right? That's not me. I'm just not serious. Sometimes, you know, you have to be, but I don't mm -hmm. like to be. Stay true to yourself. Find your niche. Be weird and go for it. Like I said, some of my work is slightly uh, inappropriate. Um, I was going to buy that. <laughs> These little ramen sin nudes uh, stickers <laughs> are just, I think, again, things that um, if it makes me chuckle, then I usually draw it out and I'll throw it out there and see if it makes other people, <laughs> if other people like it. And sometimes it's a hit and sometimes, um, sometimes not, but usually, <laughs> usually when it's cheeky like this, people, people take to it. <laughs> when I was the CCMA Ultimate Fan in 2021, I had a handful of people that I really wanted to meet and Robin Ottolini was definitely one of them. And I had so many like chance encounters with Robin, but it was never the right time to take a photo. And so uh, to start with, Robin was opening for Lindsay L at the Music Hall on the first day of our adventure. And I thought for sure I'd get to take a picture with her there and that didn't happen. So there was a singer songwriter event that I've mentioned previously, and I don't know if people know this, but I have a post about it on Instagram about how sick I got uh, because of the CCMAs, both mentally and physically. I was just, I definitely would say I had a mental breakdown. So a lot of that involved um, just throwing up and running to the bathroom, all that wonderful stuff that your body does when it's like, I've had enough. <laughs> and so uh, I couldn't eat most of that time, nor did I want to, or I knew I'd be sick. So after the songwriter event, there was a fancy dinner, a gala for all of the awards that you didn't see on TV. And I'm the kind of person that I'm like, I can't eat that or I'll have a reaction to it. So then uh, dessert came and they served this item that I don't know what it was. And it looked like a snowball. And my aunt lied to me and said it was ice cream. And it was not ice cream. It was some other type of jiggly substance. And I took one bite and I threw up all over the table. And everybody around me was very polite and pretended not to notice. Um, but I had to go to the bathroom and get cleaned up, and I met Robin Ottolini in the bathroom. <laughs> and we did not take a photo at that time for obvious reasons. And then eventually I did meet Robin at the awards um, in what they called the talent tunnel, which was basically the backstage area. So good times with Robin! I recently bought a ticket to see the Hunter Brothers and I'm so excited because I haven't seen them as a full band since 2019 and I saw Ty at the CCMAs and since I hadn't seen them since 2019 I said oh it's been a minute and then he kind of looked at me and he's like because it's you I'll allow that. <laughs> It's also possible that I'll get to interview Dean Brody. They told me to write back in June and ask again, but I have a lot of stuff coming up in June, so I thought I better let them know now, and then maybe they'll be able to fit something into their schedule. Um, in a previous video, I talked about how I had to get my moles removed, but they didn't actually take the whole moles. They only took a piece of each one, and one was okay, and the other one is what they were calling suspicious, and it has to come out. Um, in total this time, which I don't know why they didn't just do it in the first place. You don't want to fool around when it comes to cancer, but that will be coming out on June 1st, and that was the day that I was going to write to them. In my last video, I talked a lot about how my blog had made it to 900,000 views, so it's been a very slow process. This is just a scrap piece of paper, and look, we match! <laughs> There. Anyway, so um, these are some notes that I had from when the blog first started. 
So in less than six months, the blog reached 40,500 views. And then I remember by the end of the year, it did make it to 100,000 because I made a video about it.